Hi, welcome back. Now in previous tutorials, we have given the code for three files hibernate.cfg.xml where we had given the different properties which are required for connectivity with our MySQL. Then we had given the code for pom.xml in which we had given the dependencies required for our application since we are using Maven project. So we had given two dependencies one is for MySQL connector Java and second is for Hibernate core. And then we created this utility class Hibernate utility class where we had given the code to obtain the session factory instance and we had given the code inside the static block which will be executed at the time of class loading. And then we had given a utility method get session factory which can be called to obtain the session factory instance. So now we will write our code for the client class. So we will create a new class. Let the name of class be test and here we will give it in package client. And we will check the main method. So now here we will first obtain the session. So for that we will give session, we will give a reference variable and here we will give a call to hibernate utility dot get session factory method and with that we will call the open session method. So here we will give open session. We need to import the session. Okay, so this statement is going to return us the session instance and we can give it inside the try with resource so that it is auto closable since session implements auto closable interface. So we can give the statement inside the try with resource. and then we will give the catch block as well so here we will give catch block which can catch any hibernate exception and here we can give e dot print stack trace Okay, now once we have this session instance, then what we will do to fire the query, we will first put a query in a string. So here I am taking one string and let the string name be SQL and query be select now, which will give the current date and time. Now next we have to fire the query so for that we will give session dot create native query dot and here we need to pass the query so here we will give SQL and then we need to give dot get single result. Okay now this query is going to return us the current date and time so we need to store it in a variable of type timestamp. So here I am going to take timestamp variable and let the name of the variable be result. So we need to import timestamp class and here we need to perform a typecast and now we can display the value of this result variable so for that we will give a message let's say current date and time and then we can print the value of this result variable So we are done with the coding part required for our client class. We are first getting the session instance and then we are using this SQL string to pass the query using the create native query method 
and we are calling here get single result because this query is going to result a single value so now let's run our client program and check the output so here we are getting the current date and time so this is how we can obtain the session factory and then Using that session factory, we are getting this session instance and we are firing the SQL query. Thank you for watching this tutorial.